what is going on guys it's your boy great disciple back with another gameplay that did not work don't ever do a beginning to a video like that just for future future notes okay <laughs> what's going on guys great disciple back with another gameplay in the background safeguard uh it's playing with the weevil now this was right after the cuda nerf i was like i think the weevil's gonna take over i think it's gonna be the best gun in the game on the core mode not necessarily the case but it's a great gameplay I have fast mags on it, I have stock on it in grip. I do not run quick draw on the Weevil. I need grip far more than I need quick draw. And this gameplay is amazing and it should have been nuclear. I'm just telling you right now, it should have been a nuclear, but I had some idiots on my team and they just wanted to walk that robot in in 40 something seconds in overtime. And there was no way this enemy team was going to be able to, to overcome that. It was just an impossibility. Um, I think the streak starts in the second half and like I said when the game ends I was just wrecking them playing with another youtuber Loki's in here. I've spoken about him before so While I was away on vacay <laughs> I think that's what people say is vacay vacation where I went to Canada I went to Vancouver British Columbia and then from there we went to Whistler Whistler is where they had the 2010 Winter Olympics it was absolutely amazing you guys I did some crazy stuff too we went to the International Fireworks Competition in Vancouver my company rented a four-story yacht they had all the food and all the drinks you wanted they took us out into the middle of this bay and we got to watch the United States um, perform their fireworks show it was actually Disney who did it for them and uh, you know 30 minutes of non-stop fireworks it was crazy over 300,000 people watching it uh, from there they they transferred us I was with my company they transferred us by bus up to Whistler it was like a two-hour drive on the way we stopped to do this thing called sea to sky where you get into this gondola you guys know what a, don't know what a gondola is just look it up and you sit there and it takes you up like 3,000 feet in the air and uh, you get on top of this mountain and when you're up there they had they built this bridge, this uh, free, freestanding suspension bridge, and you walk across it. It's like a hundred yards, and you're you're walking over, I think, a three thousand foot drop, and it's pretty amazing when you get out in the middle of that bridge and the wind's blowing and the bridge is kind of shaking. But it's definitely an experience, man. From there, we were taken up to Whistler. Um, I mean. The food is amazing. We stayed at the Four Seasons Resort. My wife and I got to walk around the Olympic Village. And, um, you know, we got to ride ATVs up the side of a mountain, you know, three, 4,000 feet up on an ATV. You know, you're on like a sheer drop off of a cliff. I mean, it was, it was nuts. And the views were spectacular. Uh, then uh, my company actually rented out the uh, the ski lodge or whatever it is where the you know the main area for the Olympics on top of Whistler Mountain they rented the whole thing out and we did this awards banquet so they we got to take the gondola up there and we got up there you know they had the Olympic rings you know that stand where you have first second and third and like the medalist who won they got to stand on those podiums we got to take pictures on that which was really cool and the food and everything which is awesome man that is absolutely awesome you know first class five star trip all the way probably one of the most expensive trips i've ever been on in my life definitely not something i would pay to do myself just because it's not really up our alley but i love the experience anyways while i was gone you know i tried to monitor youtube as much as possible and the videos going up and there was this trend going on of videos of people complaining about playing Call of Duty or is Call of Duty dead or you know people who do Call of Duty channels on YouTube and how it's a dying thing and it was all negativity while I was gone and why why would we even do this why do I even play this game should I even play this game you guys I don't know why y'all do this okay me personally I actually like Call of Duty it's not a it's not an act it's my favorite game I have ever played in my life and I played a lot of games over the years I play it every day whether I was doing YouTube or not I play the game I don't listen to negativity so for all these channels and people complaining about Call of Duty as soon as you start getting negative I start hiding your videos it's just what I do I play the game to have fun if you guys do not have fun playing Call of Duty, then don't play the game. There is nothing wrong with the game. There is absolutely 100% nothing wrong with Call of Duty. You are the, the issue. If you don't like supply drops, don't do supply drops. Don't put your money into it. I don't really care what Activision does because the game is still a lot of fun. I don't care what little kids do. I don't care about supply drop openings. I don't care about DLC weapons. I don't care if the DLC maps are any good. I really don't. 
I don't care about lag. I don't care about lag comp or skill-based matchmaking. These are all issues made up by the community to cause controversy and drama and to get views. I ignore all of that stuff because Call of Duty is a lot of fun to play. I love Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Ghost. Didn't really like Advanced Warfare, but that's okay. I love Black Ops 3, easily my favorite Call of Duty to date. I'm looking so forward to Infinite Warfare. I don't make any money from this. I think my average video, I make like 12 cents, all right? And whether I was doing YouTube or not, I would play this game just as much, if not more, than I play right now because YouTube actually takes up a lot of my playing time. So that's my advice, everybody. If you don't like Call of Duty, don't post it anymore. Move on. Your channel will die, but that's fine. You're just going to have to start over doing something else. Just stop talking about the game being bad because it's not bad. You are bad. <laughs> I'm just playing. You're not bad at the game. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys. And then for everybody who says, did we start YouTube too late? No, we didn't start YouTube too late. That's like saying for people coming into the insurance industry, they started insurance too late. No, you just have to start from the bottom and work your way up from the top, just like the guys in the beginning did. It took uh, Pomage nine months to hit 1,000 subs on YouTube. Nine months, and he started years ago. It took me six months to hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Just a little numbers right there, you guys. It's still a grind. Doesn't matter if you started five years ago or you started now. All right? You don't like the game, don't play it. If you play the game, enjoy it. Have a good time. As always, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe because I'm here every day.